And welcome to another RSR. Today I'm reacting to the news of Bob Bradley getting sacked, Terry Dunfield getting promoted to interim manager, and Jason Hernandez getting promoted to general manager by Toronto FC. Yes, I could have done half this video yesterday, but one, why not kill two birds with one stone? Second of all, I wanted to wait till Bill Manning spoke because I want to talk about his position here as well and what end around he tried to pull to try to keep himself at least out of the uh, fire for at least the rest of the season. With that being said, let's move on. First off, what we've been asking for for since the end of last season and we wasted 20 games, Bob Bradley has been sacked as Toronto FC manager. He lost the room, he needed to go, he should have gone back at the end of last season. It was never going to work. They tried to make it work. It did not work. Bradley had no tactics. The room, half the room didn't like him. And they wasted basically five matches plus since the athletic fiasco. They realized this was untenable, I guess. They finally realized that the athletic fiasco, the PR trying to keep him backed was untenable, and now he's gone. I'm happy with it. He needed to go again 20 matches ago. Not just five, but 20 matches ago, he needed to go. He never had it. It was never going to work, and here we are. We wasted 20 matches because God knows, right? I said what I had to say about Bob multiple videos over the past like five, six weeks. That's kind of why I wanted to wait because I really want to take a bite out of the new positions. Talk about the promotions and all of that and the manager search because Terry Dunfield is our interim manager at least for the next four games. They want to hire a manager before League's Cup. They will try to do a quick managerial search, which, to be honest, I don't know if that's the best idea. But for now, Terry Dunfield knows this club inside and out. If he earns more time, he earns more time. I believe in Terry. He's a good U17 coach. I think he can handle being an interim for however long he is. I like Terry. I think he has some good tactics with the U-17s. He can handle this. It can't be worse. It can't be worse. I think there will be a new manager bounce under Terry. I believe it. He knows this team. He bleeds red. He knows how to get these players to play, this team, these players to play with passion that Bradley didn't. So when it comes down to it, if Terry Dunfield's managing for four games or 14 or 16 plus because League's Cup, I'm fine with it. Either way, if it's four, 14, 16 plus, I'm happy with it. I'm good with it. I like Terry. This He deserves this opportunity, and I'm happy to see it. So... I'm rooting for Terry. I believe he could do well. I think there will be a new manager bounce. But, as I said, it may be very interim for Terry Dunfield because they are going to do a, co a coaching search right now. This is not something they're waiting for the end of the season for. They think they could salvage this, which, points-wise, TFC can salvage this. Leagues Cup-wise, this season can be salvaged, and we could get the Champions Cup. Especially League's Cup's probably the easier way out of the two. But this season can be salvaged. There can be a run that this team goes on. Whether that's under Terry Dunfield, whether that's under another manager, this team can go on a run. I think if the players, the players are talented. Bradley had to go. If there's tactics, these players could play to the best of their ability. If there's a system that backs these players to what they could play, I think this could get better. Again, Bradley had no tactics. These players need a system. They need tactics. They need rigidity. 
not just running around like chickens with their heads cut off. I think Terry would bring that. I think a new manager will bring that. All we know is Andrea Pirlo won't be that new manager because he just got hired by Sampdoria. That sucks. But they have a short list of candidates that they will be interviewing if they get the permission to do so over the next weeks. We don't know who that list is. I'm not going to um, uh, speculate. Bobby Smirniotis could be on that list. I could see it. Robin Fraser probably as well. That would make sense. I guess I did just speculate, but everybody's been saying that. So other than that, I know Pirlo's not on the list. I would hope Antonio Conte's on the list. That's just something I want to say, but there you go. With that being said, however long Dunfield's the manager, I'm backing him. And hopefully that Bill Manning can finally make a good hire, which, let's be honest, he probably won't. We'll get to him, though. Finally, Jason Hernandez, former Toronto FC defender, currently been in the front office for a couple of seasons now, has been promoted to the general manager of the club. I like Jason. I don't know if he's ready for this, but it's chaos. You know, we needed something because Bradley was also the sporting director. He got sacked from that too. We needed a GM. I want to see what happens this window. That that may be the worst thing about Bradley getting sacked now is that we uh, basically got rid of our sporting director too. I mean, our scouting already sucked, but it's the, it's the freaking summer transfer window and we have somebody who's probably not even ready to be GM instead of a sporting director that... You know, we'll see how it goes, but I hope Jason succeeds. I hope he does well as the GM, whether that is longer than this rest of this season or if it's just the rest of the season, but they didn't have the interim tags. So this might just be a while, but Jason respects the club. He loves the club. I believe in Jason. I hope he has some good connections. This will be interesting to see. This is a proven ground for Jason, and he's a tough worker, a hard worker, a tough guy. He'll try. I believe in Jason. I believe in Jason, but I have no reason not to. He's been working well in the front office. I'm surprised they gave it to Jason and not Justin Morrow, but you know what? Fair. Because <laughs> he's also in the front office as well. I'm actually kind of surprised, but, you know, whatever. But, Bill Manning still has a job. That's the elephant in the room of all this, because he just pulled an end around. The man just pulled an end around to try to save his ass at least for six more months, or half a season, whatever it is. Dude, you need to go to, one, second of all, I hope you knock this hire out of the park. Because if you don't, knock these hires out of the park. Because if you don't, you are done. Like, you are on the hot seat. Your seat is burning. And you're like, this is fine. You better throw some water on that by hitting these home run, hitting these hires out of the park like home runs. Oh, by the way... Oso's the third DP, and if we actually get a third, unless we buy him down, but I guess not, if we do actually sign a third DP, we would be over the salary cap. Plus Larea coming back if he extends his loan or we sign him. It'll be interesting to see, again, what we can do this summer because, well, TFC's right up against the salary cap and we are an absolute thin team. There will be some moves that have to be made. There will be some trades that have to be made. Maybe Diamande could get told to F off because I was a Bradley guy. Sapong, I mean, we'll see what happens there. I think Petretta could go. Well, we'll see. Get rid of Ranjit Singh. Um, 
but yeah. There's going to be, have to be some trades, and I hope to God Coelho doesn't get traded. The two Italians don't get traded. Johnson doesn't get traded. Oso doesn't. Lorea. Hopefully he could come back. But Bill Manning, this is your last stand. I don't believe that it's going to end well for you. Or at least knowing what your track record's been since Vanny got pushed out the door. Uh, I don't know if uh, it's going to end well for you. So, Bradley, gone. Happy about it. Dunfield, I'm backing him. Uh, manager search that should take about four weeks. About, well, less than maybe, but, you know, four games. Could be. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully I have a good short list. I believe in Jason. I back Jason Hernandez. Bill Manning, you still need to go. That is my thoughts. I could have done this video yesterday. But I wanted the full picture instead of just half the picture. So, besides, I wanted to catch up on some sleep. So, don't blame me. But with that being said, if you like this video, like it, share, subscribe, you know what it is, tell your friends, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification once subscribe, send super chats on the live streams, comment on this video, put us in playlist, share with friends and family, all that great stuff. I shall see you later tonight for a live watch along and review of Canada versus Guadeloupe in Group D of CONCACAF Gold Cup action. I'll see you then at 6 East Central, not Eastern Central, 6 Central and then 9 for the review. I'll see you then. I'm Ron and I'm out. Peace. See you later.